Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from Miniard. So this kit comes in 135 scale, there is no surprise in that. What is really special is that this kit copies tall track of AA type and this is a new release which we have as a commercial sample so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you will see in this video review and we are going to open it together and see what is actually supplied inside and why this kit should be interesting for modelers who would like to build something unusual. So first of all box uh, is standard for this brand and you can see that we have really beautiful box art here. Here is comparison with my hand, it's not that huge. On this side we have some safety information and also address of the manufacturer, also QR code for the kit info page. And on the opposite side I guess we will have, yes, there are marking options which are included into this kit. So you can notice that there are four of them. And in my opinion, this is more than enough for a 135 scale. If you would like to have more, just find some reference material, but we will talk more about this later. So this is a top opening box. And here is what we have inside. So there is plenty of space and I don't think you will have any issues here. And all parts are sealed into one plastic bag. We also have assembly manual on the bottom. Obviously we will check everything one by one. And first I have to cut through the plastic bag so that we can check what is actually supplied in this kit. In the meantime, let me remind you that you can support us financially. Even small donations matter and you can do it via PayPal. So we have a special support DSV button on the website and it will direct you to the payment gate on PayPal. Of course it will be safe and quick and you will be the one deciding how much we will get. But all this money will be used in order to get new photo and video equipment, maybe improve quality of our video reviews or even buy some special kits to be reviewed in the videos, which we are usually not able to get without your help. And some of you already helped us, I really appreciate it because these donations actually made it possible to review some special kits which were unavailable for me before. So here we go on with the first component of this kit, it's a small envelope with a mini art logo and usually they pack PE parts into such PE thread, this kit is not a different, but we have something unusual here inside. So not only two PE threads are supplied here, and they're obviously unpainted, they come in this traditional golden cover. We also have metal chain here, which is really cool, so it will be handy for this tow a crane on the rear part of the truck and you won't have to copy this chain with something else you won't have to find your own let's say means how to replicate this chain you get it out of the box and you are good to go with the standard components and i really appreciate such thing from miniard because it actually helps us to get a bit more convincing finish out of the box without resorting to some additional aftermarket without buying some additional things and spending extra money Next we continue with the decal sheet, so here we have quite an interesting choice of decals, so here they are. Maybe I will bring them closer in my hands, just give me a second so that you can see better what we have here. Printing quality looks nice because they come from Decograph, so it's just a matter of careful application and you will be good to go. As you remember there are four marking options, so that's more than enough for the truck. And there is also a clear frame, here it is. So this one will be useful for the front cap and also for headlamps, you can see lenses here. But I can guess that traditional for Miniard we do not have any masks here, so if you would like to cover this stuff with masks you will have to do it with your own tools and hands. Okay, now we can move on to grey plastic spruce and first we see set of four identical plastic spruce, I will show them in a second, so here they are, four of them, and you can see they're all dedicated to wheels, so I guess we can check only one out of these because they carry absolutely the same set of parts. And it's really cool that we have plastic wheels included here, so if I zoom in a bit so that you can see more, here we can see parts for the tire, all these circles will have to be combined together. You can also notice special guiding elements which will help with the proper alignment so that you have the right tire, uh, let's say, 
pattern on the side and that's really cool and in my opinion this is notably better than a uh, typical vinyl offering which we are used to see in car kits so now I zoomed in and you can check these parts closer but that's not all because we also have some parts for view rims here they are also molded separately so you basically can paint them separately and then just insert it into the plastic tires note that here we have some pre-molded uh, let's say artifact which will have to be cut off because it shouldn't be st it shouldn't stay there and then on the side we have some features here on the tire walls maybe i'll bring them closer so that you can see what i'm talking about that's also a good thing which is not usually copied in traditional um, vinyl parts next we continue with the part with I think that's the fuel can or fuel jug here you can see it why I'm a bit surprised because here we have writings in German so this is quite unusual I will have to check what markings are included because uh, this is <laughs> confusing as I said before next we continue with some parts for the rear uh, part of the truck so here we have really nice wooden texture it's n obviously better than just plain panels and of course if you add some careful painting and weathering you will be uh, having a really good finish on your model and let's not forget that this is a 135 scale so as you can see parts are i would say relatively big so it's better to spend some time painting and weathering them they will be visible on the finished model and therefore it's worth investing some time into them okay next what do we have here so this is a interconnection between two sprues and it comes on two identical plastic frames i will show it in a second so that you can understand what i'm talking about here they are i will show you only one because again we have the same parts here and there is no sense to go again and again over the same parts so here we have some parts for the suspension also we have headlamps we also have leaf springs for the suspension as well note this thin part i'm not sure if it will be usable maybe it's better just to replace it with a metal wire straight away and not to waste your time trying to clean it trying to separate it but it's up to you because uh, usually molding quality looks fine but these parts from mini art are a bit tender next we continue with two identical plastic sprues these ones are dedicated to fuel cans and as you can see they should be glued out of several parts we saw top and bottom on the separate sprue and of course inside we have guiding elements which will help you with the proper alignment so there is nothing to worry about Next, we have separate doors for the front cap. Here they are on their own frame. And of course, we have the special cutouts for the clear sections. And if I flip it over, they are also detailed inside. You will have to install these handles here, but it's not such a difficult task. And I think the final result will be worth it. Next, we continue with again interconnection between two sprues. Here we have front wheel fenders. As you can see, they're also molded together with these steps for the front cap. And if I flip it over, they are nicely detailed inside, but we have some molding pins, but they won't be visible because they are from the bottom of the vehicle. Here we continue with the rear wall and roof for the front cap. Again, they look quite nice. If you flip them over, we have some push marks. So if you plan to show them somehow, think about hiding them, maybe sending them or filling them so that they won't be visible on your finished truck. Next, we have separate sprue with parts for the crane, for the towing crane. So here they are. Again, everything looks cool. And I like how all the parts are detailed. So we have a lot of tiny features pre-molded in this plastic note for example these gears so it's just a matter of careful assembly of them together and you'll be having a really good um, i would say towing crane in the rear section of your truck but that's not all we also have some parts for the main chassis so here we have some separate bars which will be holding everything in place we have torsion bar here next we continue with the uh, main frame bars here so they come as a single piece parts which will have to be combined with the uh, as you can see here 
some separate small bits will be inserted. But it's really cool that we have some guiding elements which will help with the proper alignment of all these elements. Next we continue with the last grey plastic sprue. So here we have mix of various parts. As you know we still don't have... Uh, we haven't seen all the necessary parts, so that's why we have here some suspension bits, we have also some parts for the bonnet, some parts for interior there, and I suggest we start with the top left corner as usual. So here we have bonnet panels, and that's really cool that we have them as a separate panel, so it means you can open the bonnet and expose the engine inside, it might be handy for some maneuvers. Next we continue with suspension parts and radiator grill, and of course some um, this some of these walls will go for the front cap next some small handles and levers steering wheel this front seat for the front cap also some engine parts so this kit includes the engine out of the box uh, maybe you can also add some wiring in case you plan to expose it on your model but in my opinion it's also cool that we have it as a standard inclusion into the box you don't have to let's say search for some aftermarket solution and that's the beauty of mini art kits that they give you all the needed things out of the box next we continue with the assembly manual so now i need to close the camera so that you won't be blinded by this white color here we have short list of the features i guess there is no need to describe them again so we just move to the marking guide and here we start with two marking options so this one is from moscow 1937 1941 this black truck is from Red Army 1941-1942, quite interesting marking option by the way. Next we have parts map, as usual Miniart does not show which parts are unused, so be sure to use the right elements because some of them are provided in two versions. Next here we start with assembly, everything starts with an engine, so as I said engine should be really detailed, there is also a gearbox attached to the engine. Then we continue with the chassis bars, suspension elements, and everything goes together, should go together easily, so I don't think there is uh, uh, something to worry about. Maybe check some alignment, uh, let's say possible issues between these separate bars. It's always better to be safe. Next you can see here also the assembly process for the tire and wheel rim. Then we install the wheel axle together with the torsion bar and we continue with some extra suspension parts next we continue with the spare wheel which is installed from the bottom of the vehicle and here we install wheels on the truck but obviously i think some others uh, won't install it because they usually leave wheels for the last steps okay so we continue with exhaust tube here we install front fenders and we start assembling the front cap. As you can see, everything begins with the front cap floor together with uh, gearbox levers and also brake lever. Here we continue with the uh, front screen and we even assemble the windscreen wipers, which is really cool. Such a uh, nice attention to small features. Next, we assemble the bonnet. So as you remember, bonnet should be openable. I wonder if manufacturer will show this possibility in the assembly manual because here we install roof, next we continue with doors. Yes, there is a possibility it is mentioned in the assembly manual so it's up to you whether you would like to open it or not and obviously separate doors can be also positioned in open version so that it will be visible what is placed in the front cap. And then we start working on the rear bed. So here you have to combine separate panels together. As you remember, these wooden panels, they have texture on them. So again, I recommend to spend some time painting and weathering them, especially in this configuration where we have service crane included. So maybe there will be some dirt on these parts. Maybe there will be some oil stains, who knows. And next we install all this stuff here. So as you can see, there will be some uh, few cans installed as well and it should be used for one two three marking option still interesting why we have the german parts here and note that you can also assemble the variant four which does not feature the rear bed and it has this few cans 
placed beside the vehicle also quite an interesting option by the way but here you can see third marking option it comes from eastern front 1942-1943 and the final one without rear bed this one is from eastern front 1943-1944 it is quite simple, but it has its own beauty, so maybe some others will prefer this one to other three. But of course, you can get this kit in every good model shop, especially in Modenimex. I think they have it already available. Of course, I will be happy to hear your opinion about such a list. Do not forget to write it here in the comment section below. If you like this video, press the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and bye.